Welcome to Deja Vu. Fuck yeah, that's what I wanted right there. That's that, like, kind of like, you know, hard boiled, like, a little bit jazzy, like, give me them hats, come on. That's what I wanted to hear. You are looking at 1986 Software Publisher Association's Best Entertainment Product of the Year right here. Remade and colored in 1990 for the NES. And then re-released again in 1999 for the Game Boy Color with its sequel. So, you know, the gaming industry, it never changes. Like, <laughs> I actually almost just bought the, um, what's it called? The Spyro remake. That's actually a really fun game. I loved Spyro. It's a Spyro and Crash remake. All those little creatures. Uh, what was the other one? Jersey Devil. I wonder, do you guys remember Jersey Devil? That was a fun game. Or maybe it wasn't fun. Because I played Gex recently. And as a kid, I was like, I love Gex. Played Gex 64 recently. Have any of you played Gex 64 recently? It's absolute trash. <laughs> Garbage. Alright, sorry. You awaken from a stupa that feels like a chronic headache after a week in Vegas. Vegas, baby! Oh, I love it. I'm so stoked for this game. Uh, this is Deja Vu. Uh, it takes place in Chicago during December 1941. I am Theodore Ace Harding, a retired boxer working as a private eye. You don't notice your right palm is covered with dried blood. I gotta go ham. But you can neither see nor feel any wounds. I love this. This is dope. You feel a sharp pain on your left forearm. Rolling up the sleeve, you find a tiny puncture on your arm. Has a doctor injected me with a medicine? Then you realize you can't remember who you are. You have no idea where you are or why you're here. You have no memory whatsoever. Uh, so it's a point and click adventure. It was originally made for the DOS. Let's see. It's a full roll of toilet paper. It adds a civilized touch to these barbaric surroundings. It's a light brown trench coat that matches your trousers. Oh, you feel something in the pocket of the coat. <laughs> My gangster voice is just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do uh, this, the pauses as stylized as Christopher Walken. Open the door. Uh, I want my coat. You're in the washroom. From the looks of it, you figure the janitors must uh, be on strike. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, let's see. I'd like to rotate my character, please. How do I do that? There's nothing here except for cracked walls. So, hang on, I gotta figure out how what I'm doing here. Uh, let's use the sink. You can't do that here. You can't do that here. What do you think you're doing? You see yourself in the mirror and you again realize with horror that you can't remember who you are. <laughs> Dang, all right. That doesn't seem to be anything unusual. 
What are goods? Oh, that's just what that's called. Okay. Let's see. I guess we're moving forward. It's the door that leads out of the washroom and possibly into trouble. How do I... I'd like to know how to turn around, please. It's the door that leads out of the washroom and possibly... Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm, I guess I'm going into trouble. Open the door. You're in a dingy hallway. Open the door. You're in the woman's washroom. There's nothing unusual about this hallway. There's a puddle on the floor. It appears to be coming from the wom well, uh, woman wobble. Let's hope it isn't someone with trouble. Yeah, see? Yeah! Open the door! You're in a dark, empty bar. Obviously, the bar is closed, or else you scared everyone away. Shot glass, full of seltzer. Going back to the other voice. I like the other voice better. Open the door. You're in the wine cellar. The place looks like it could use a good sweeping. You can't do that. It's a barrel of wine. It's just a standard light bulb. It's a spider web, but no spider. No spider! He didn't have a goddamn spider in sight! Oh, now I'm stuck. How do I get out of here? Did I just hit leave? I hope I hit leave. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? I don't know how to get out of here! Oh, okay. Ah, I think okay. Let me. I'm gonna see if I can go go back and get to that. Uh, get to my um, my jacket real quick. There we go. You're in a toilet stall. You're in a toilet, baby. All right. Let's take my jacket back. Take the coat. There's nothing more handy than a 38 at your side. One of the perks of being a PI, you know. You take the gun. So now I've got a coat and I've got a gun. It's perfect. Good thing I went back for the coat and the gun. <coughs> you can't do that here. Open the door. Uh, the point and click. It, I mean, it would be better on a DOS. I can see why it doesn't serve as well to the NES. It didn't get any awards for the NES, that's for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. You got the goddamn corona. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I guess we're gonna go in. There doesn't seem to be anyone here, so I'm gonna look around in the ladies' room. I'm gonna 
look in the lady's trash can. I'm gonna look inside it. Let me look inside the trash can, all right? I want to see inside this lady's trash can. All right, there's nothing in it. It's the entrance to a women's stall. We're gonna open the women's stall. Open the door. The door is open. Yeah, no shit. The door is open, I know. You're in an empty stall. You see a crack in the toilet and water pouring out of it. So there you go. Mystery solved, everybody. <clears throat> Deja vu. And there it is. We did it. The mystery of the cracked water in the toilet. I'm gonna open the toilet bowl. I'm gonna take a. Is, why is there no smell the toilet bowl uh, option? <laughs> you are relieved that you find nothing inside. I'm gonna get a little closer. The toilet has a fresh crack in it, and the water leaks from it and ends up in the hallway. They're like, Yay! You're a detective! You did it! You're in the ladies' room. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I don't know how he's here from. Man, it's exhausting to do voices for a really long time. <laughs> right, we know the bar is empty. Alright. So I'm gonna examine this drink on the bar table. It's a shot glass full of seltzer. I'm gonna take the shot glass. Take the seltzer. good to take any tool you can find, you know? Let's see. You can't take it. I'm not trying to take it, baby. I'm trying to move to the left. It can't be moved if it's not open. Alright, let's go upstairs. You're in the upstairs hall leading to a door. On the walls are some posters of fighters. Oh, uh, this... Oh! Uh -huh. You feel very dazed. You had better do something about it. Your memory loss is making you feel weary? You feel like you have been up for many days with any sleep. Worse. Okay, oh, shit, I want to examine that. It's a poster of Puff McPuffin. Puff McMuffin. Oh! It looks like a poster of you! But then, you can't remember who you are. The name underneath it says Ace Harding, but it doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> ah! It's a poster of some boxer named Doghouse Riley. The door is closed. Alright, let's open the door. Open the door. You're in a reception room. Secretary's office. The odor of cheap perfume still lingers in the air. All right, let's see what I can find here. You can't do that. Right, right, right. Let's examine this desk. It's an everyday run-of-the-mill desk. There's a drawer on the side. Let's open the drawer. You open the desk. Open the envelope. There's a bill. I'll take that bill. I'll take it. This menu system's a little convoluted, but uh, it's all right. We'll close it up. We gotta hit the close, because if you leave stuff open, that's rude as fuck, you know? Hey, that's rude, hey! Let's close the envelope. Uh... 
You're doing a great job. Keep trying. <laughs> Don't patronize me. Let's leave the... I'm confused. What am I supposed... Let's just, uh... Alright, there we go. Let's examine this bill. It's a bill from Dr. Brody, made out to Joe's Bar. Address? 934 Sherman Street, Chicago, Illinois. Bill? Capsules, $10. Sodium pentothal, $56. Medrazine, $26. Diethanol trimenine, $40. This guy had some money. $132. It sounds familiar, but you can't be sure. You just, you can't be sure. Alright. The door is open. Very nice. Yeah, you'd have to have some patience to it. Uh, whew. You're in a secretary's office. Alright, let's go. It can't be moved if it's not open. <laughs> you gotta open the door, you jabroni. <laughs> the door won't open. It must be locked. Uh, we got a locked door, huh? Huh? Alright. Let's examine my coat. Let's see if I got a key in the coat. It's a light brown coat that matches your trousers. You feel something in the pocket of the coat. Let's use the coat. You can't do that here. Take the co open the code, maybe. Oops. Three bullets in my gun. How do I fucking close the gun? <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's see what's in my coat. Open up the bucket, and what do we got? Oh, I got seven coins. I got a lighter. Oh, I got a sunglasses. I got a wallet. Let's see what's in my wallet. I've got a key. Ah! A card and a $20 bill. Let's take that key. Let's look at that card. It's a card with several holes punched into it. It says private access card. Penthouse. Seagull. Alright then. Let's, uh, let's use this key on the door. What would you like to use the key on? Ah, the key works, eh? Fucking detectives over here! Ah! That was, that was my detective. That's, that's what detectives do. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! You're in an office. A dead body is slumped over the desk. His left hand grips the phone receiver. There appears to be something in his pocket. It looks like the phone was cut! Or torn from the wall! Oh, and what should we do? Let's, uh... Let's examine him a little closer. It's a man who appears to be lacking something, namely, life. There are three bullet holes in him, and I've got a gun with three bullets left. He's still gripping a receiver in his left hand. He suggests a memory. He should feel as though you should be able to recall who he is. 
Let's open them up. Another key and a suit. Let's take that key. I don't like this music. <laughs> It's an old-fashioned telephone. The cord hangs limply from it. It's a wall safe with a combination lock. Oh shit, I know the combination. I think I have notes on that. Through the window, you have access to the fire escape. Let's see. Uh, let's look in my notes. What do I got? Seltzer, Bill. I need to go in the coat. You gotta reopen it every time. Damn. Open the pocket. Sunglasses wallet. In the wallet. Mm -hmm. Let's uh let's open the window. Yeah, let's not just go right out onto the You're on a fire escape. When there's a fire, you use it to escape. Let's close that window. Now we're going down. You're in a dark alley. Let's go back up. It can't be moved if it's not open day. Hey! Go down into the sewer, but I don't even really have a reason to do that. You're on the street in front of Joe's bar, but you can't see anybody. It can't be moved if it's not open day. I don't really... The fire is... Ah, oh, shit. I guess I went the wrong way. You're standing in the street in front of the bar. Okay, so that's the alley. That's the door. Um, uh, okay. Let's push this button. Can't be moved if it's not open. That must be the car doors. Let's check out this car, huh? It's the front door to the Mercedes. It's a very fine looking Mercedes. Let's open it. The door won't open. It must be locked. Let's try this second key. Oops. Hey, we got into the Mercedes. The door is open. Um. You see nothing unusual about the plush interior of this Mercedes Benz. <clears throat> Let's open this glove box, eh? It's always something fishy in the glove box. You open the dashboard. The dashboard. Let's examine. Let's speak to the TV. The dashboard. Is it, why did they do that? Yeah, it's open. Uh... Oh. It's a snapshot of 400 pound woman! You feel as if I should recognize a 400 pound woman! 
it's a street map. The way to Joe's bars is marked in ink. The actress is 1060 Peora Street. The writing on the map reads, Ace, follow this route. That way you know you're being followed. Be careful. You don't want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk. Oh, shit. Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk? What's going on? It's a car registration made out to Joey Siegel of 1212 West End Street. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's take the map. Can I use the, the car? Hang on. Let's see if I can put the key in the car. The motherfucking ignition, baby. Oh, fuck! Kaboom! I think I just died. You just fell for the oldest trick in the book! You've been blown into little bits. What the fuck? Rip. Ace Harding. Well, if there's anything I can do, it, it's die in a game. That's for sure. Man, that was a half hour of playtime for me to just die because of a joke. <sighs> the odds were against you. It was only a matter of time since you reached the end. Your history. All right, well, good to know. At least you get to continue from there. All right, let's open the back door. to use that on. Can I open the trunk? Hmm. I'm like... <coughs> That kind of like kind of pissed me off a little bit. Like, how are you supposed to? Who wouldn't try to do that? Like, let's see if this pops the trunk. Uh, this looks like a pop trunk pop. What that was it? Don't even touch the fucking car at all. You release the hood. It pops wide open and the car explodes. You just fell a tr for the oldest trick again. Don't touch the fucking car. It's my Mercedes Benz. Someone had a Mercedes Benz that got fucked with. And so they're like, I'm just going to make everything on this Mercedes explode. Let's see. Out of this thing. You're standing in the street in front of the bar. Alright, let's read. I 
I think I'm gonna go into the bar. Only because it won't let me open the trunk. Oops. At least I don't think it will. That one won't fit. There's a 400 pound woman in that trunk. That must be where I came out of. Okay, so let's move on. Why can't I look at the map? Can I use the map? Is that different from an examination? I guess I wasn't followed. Hmm. You're standing in front of a police station. Let's go to the police. Let's see what they have to say. Okay! You can't f Click! The cops cuffed you! You were questioned over and over, but your memory is completely gone. You are eventually linked to a murder and a kidnapping. Because you didn't find the antidote, you spend the rest of your life in an institution. Don't talk to the cops, kids. That's that lesson is. Very easy. Okay. A woman comes out of nowhere and says, It's been a while. I just got out of prison. And I wanted to pay your old friend Siegel a visit. But I only found his car up front. So I prepared a little surprise under the hood. Something to even the score. I got a little surprise in my purse for you, too. Uh, let's... Let's hit this bitch. Punch her right in the face. I don't trust this... Socko! Yeah! <laughs> Hitting women! <laughs> this is terrible. Socko! <laughs> and she's out like a light. And her purse drops to the ground. You are standing over the lady you just knocked out. I wouldn't advise standing here much longer. <laughs> I'm gonna take her fucking purse. <laughs> take the handbag. Not gonna stay there long. Are you fucking kidding me? What was that? From the beginning, the uh, yeah, okay. That was stupid as hell. You fell into a deep construction pit. You fucking dead boy. <laughs> You're in front of a newsstand that is open for business. This might not be the best time to brush up on the current events. Eh, let's open the handbag, though, now that we're away from that. See, there was a gun in the handbag. I doubt she was gonna give me lipstick. <laughs> Six bullets. She was planning on killing someone today. We don't need that cosmetic. Let's let's leave this on the ground. Uh, I gotta read that note too because I don't have his address. Let's see, coat and gun. Quickly down the seltzer. Ugh, 
The stuff tastes terrible. Why does anyone drink this stuff? Alright, let's leave some stuff on the ground in front of this guy. So this guy all wanted to kill me and Joey Siegel. So I'm assuming that Joey Siegel is my ally then. Let's let's see if we can pick him up. But first let's look at the papers. I need to get more bearing on what's going on. The newspaper's are for sale. If you read one without paying, you know the newsboy will get mad. Alright. It's 25 cents a copy, and if you want it, take the far right one on the bottom, says the newsboy. Alright. Left. So do I have to give him money first? Is that how that works? Let's see. Uh, I know I got some coins in the coat. This is totally intuitive. I'm not spending all my time navigating menus. You can't leave what you didn't take. Okay. Uh, maybe we hit use. You can't leave use what you haven't taken. There are no more coins. You can't take it. You can't take it. Can't take it. How do I take a goddamn man? I just want. Damn it. I guess I can't. Okay. Oh shit. You see a mugger in front of you. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> you see a mugger in front of your way. He wants all of your money. It might be wise to give it to him. No. We're gonna use our gun right back on him. I ain't getting mugged today. use a bullet on him? Is that how that works? Hmm. Sako. A quick jab to the mug as right out just stuns him and he runs down the street running I'll be back. Fuck that guy. He's a little bitch ass bitch. You're standing in front of the street, in front of Pete's All Night Gun Palace. Let's open the trash. I gotta look in the trash! Nothing in the wastebasket. Inside Speed Soul Knight's Gun Palace, and the guy behind the counter says, You want something? Nah, I'm good. I don't need anything. Hmm. 
This is Peora Street. A blue cab is waiting. You're in the back of the cab, and the hack in the front says seems nervous. The driver said bluntly, Hey mister, where you wanna go? And the cabbie accelerates as you arrive at your destination. He looks at the meter and says, Well here you are, you owe me 75 cents. What do you think you're doing? Hey, you still owe me. I'm gonna call the police. Can I put a 20 in the slot? I thought I did. God damn it. Why is it so fucking... Ah! I have a single bill. Maybe he'll take the single bill. Oh no, that's my bill. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna leave my coat in the cab. Just take my coat! Just let me out of the cab, man! Just let me out of the cab! Oh, I gotta take it all from the coat. Sunglasses and wallet out. <laughs> yeah, that's my song. Did you like it? I hope you guys fucking like my song. I'm taking everything out of the wallet right now, just so I just so I have it. Okay. I did it. Holy shit, I fucking did it. <laughs> the driver begins counting. The fare. Gee, I had to go silent. I had to go full concentration to figure out how to fucking get the coins in the slot. A full, like, like, uh, where's the coins? <laughs> the driver begins counting the fare. One, two, three quarters. Thanks a lot, pal. All right, let me out of your cab, Jesus! You're on a street. It's really quiet around here. 
No! Get me the fuck out of the cab. Oh my god, just... It's a door! Lobby of an office building. There's a hallway in front and a staircase to your left. You're standing by the entrance to an office. Dr. Brody, is that the guy that sold me my stuff? Let's see. We're seeing. It's a bill made from Dr. Brody. There we go. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go question this motherfucker with a gun. With two guns. I got two guns, baby. Come on. The door won't open. It must be locked. Let's knock on the door. Wham! Your hand is numb from the impact. I thought I might speak through the door! Hey! Alright, so going up the stairs. Oh shit! You're standing in front of an office. The words read Ace Harding, private eye on the door. That's me! You see someone's shadow through the glass! You feel very dazed. You had better do something about it. Your memory loss is making you feel weary. Have to do something, but you don't know what to do! Everything but speak to it. Think of the, the shadow on the other side. Go the other way first. Hmm. I think Paori is what I wanted. Uh, let's see. Let's read this note. Let's find out who that car, because he's supposed to be an ally. End Street. Yeah, let's go to West End. Okay, let's go in this fucking car. Damn, this is, this is, it's like just, oh, I hope you like going through fucking menus. Oh my god, was there an NES mouse? I know there was a SNES mouse. Oh, this is killer. Uh, uh, here, take my coins. Okay. 
You're outside the entrance to an expensive looking Sanford Arms. Alright. The driver is in the blue cob. He's waiting for pass. Oh, that's the cab. Okay. Of course, you gotta open the door! Yeah, I know the door is open. Ah! Ah! The lobby looks extremely clean. The white pillars add a nice touch. Right, 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 right. Okay, this is where that card goes. Okay, we're getting somewhere. A card or something, huh? Alright, I got a card or something. It's like a, a card or something. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna slide my card right in your slot. Here we go. As soon as you put the fucking card into the slot, the Delavorda door opens and swoosh. inside the elevator. Using the card on the slot. That's all we're fucking doing. Put the pass card in the slot. The elevator door slides shut. Begins moving, you have no choice but to go along for the ride. The elevator stops and the door slides open, and now we're going through the fucking door. It's already open, but I'm fucking trained to do that. So let's go into this hallway. Ooh, it's a wow. You're in a penthouse. You instantly feel that this is the owner of the place as well off. I want to look at the naked lady. There's nothing like a great work of art for us. That's well, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, sorry. This doesn't seem to be anything usual. It's a bookshelf filled with thick encyclopedias and books. It's a fireplace, but it can only be used as decoration because there's no chimney. It's a big, round, polished mirror. It's a magazine, but I really don't have time to read it. Hmm. home, huh? The chandelier matches the room nicely. It's a leather-covered sofa. Casting couch, baby! Ha <laughs> It's a photograph of a very stout-looking brunette. On the back, you find an address. 520 South Kedzie in Chicago. I guess I gotta put the card back in the elevator. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it's like. Is this what it feels like? This is kind of what it feels like to be on drugs. They're like trapped in your body and you're like trying to do stuff. And you're like, okay. I gotta put the card in the slot. Okay. Use card. You're holding the card and you're like. What do I want to use this on? And you gotta look up and you gotta drag, you gotta drag your hand and like, you put it in the slot and you're like watching yourself doing it. 
they have this inner dialogue about everything. Can I give him money? I want to give him a $20 bill now. I'm out of coins. How do I get coins? Uh, you can have my last coin, I guess. Where's my coin? There it is. I'm just gonna, I have to, I'm sorry. I guess I'm punching the cabbie in the face, right? How do I get out of this thing? How do I get out of it? Do I have to ride around until it costs twenty dollars? There's bulletproof calf. I can't pay this fare directly. You need to put the fare in the pay slot. He won't take my $20 bill. I don't have enough coins. I, I want to pay you, sir. 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 Sir, take my $20 bill. I'm using the gun. That's it. I'm using the gun. I'm gonna shoot the cabbie. You managed to be doing the cabbie. You hear him calling the police on the radio. Well, how am I supposed to go anywhere if I don't have any coins? I gotta, I gotta figure out what the fuck's going on with the coin situation. Well, I mean, all right, we have an hour left, right? I mean, like, I'm at an hour right now, basically. I'm at a minute before an hour, give or take, uh, intro, you know, taking away a couple seconds from the intro. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go on Wikipedia real quick. It's gonna silence the music, and I will, I will regale you with, uh, fucking something here. Hang on, there we go, ready? Uh... I'm gonna regale you with. I'll put on the Deja Vu soundtrack. Ready? Oh no, not the one with Denzel Washington. That's not what we want. No, we want a Deja Vu NES soundtrack. There we go. Let's see. There you go. See, alright. Alright. <laughs> then. We're gonna figure out what happens. We're gonna go to the facts. Here we go. Cheats. No coins, no problems. The void prevents you from ever running out of coins, provided you can make it back to Peora Street and to the back out to the basement of Joe's Bar in one piece. Go to the casino with zero coins and exam the slot machine on Piera Street. In the back of the, on the right, the one that works, and you'll always find an extra coin sitting in the 
Pan. If the coin detects you have zero coins, and to gamble until you get more. Ah. Uh, so if uh, that's crazy, I'm gonna look at this guide real quick. Hang on. Uh, I mean, the game mode—it's all right. <laughs> It's like fucking, there's a lot going on with the thing. It, like, you can tell it's a game from 1986. You gotta have some fucking patience to play it. Uh, uh, yeah, there's nothing really that talks about, uh... Whether or not you can get stuck. You know, that's pretty shitty that they can get you stuck like that. The GameFAQs rated this pretty high as the user average rating, but I don't know if I'm going to agree with it. Uh, and it's, it's pretty tough. Like, if you don't have, like, a, um... They can understand. And the fact that you can get stuck without knowing that, that makes it pretty fucking tough. It's not tough in a conventional way, but it's hard. And it was an hour. Okay, I made it pretty far in an hour. Let's see. Guides. Let's do this, uh, this guide here. <laughs> Let's see. Pilaristry. Yeah, yeah, I did Pilaristry. Wow, I missed a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I didn't even find... Apparently there was a fucking... Oh, I guess I, there's a way to get into Joe's bar, and I didn't go into Joe's bar. Uh, let's see, um... Oh, is this not coming through? Goddamn music ain't coming through because it's not on the fucking... It's gotta be on this? What? What? What's going on here? Oh, now it's coming through. But if I go here, does it turn off? Oh, no, I guess it was coming through the whole time. All right. I just looked at the capture at a weird time. Okay, yeah, so West End Street. I missed a ton on the first street. Kedzie, Sherman. I was... Uh, first... Go back to Pure a couple times. I was maybe an eighth of the way through that game. Which is about right on cue with what GameFAQs said for that, too. They said it's about an eight-hour game. I mean, I don't know. It's all right. I give the game an. It's an. Oh God! <laughs> I like the both the tracks on top of each other. <laughs> and on that disturbing note, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say good night to everyone, and you know, subscribe and like, and you know, try to stay out of the DMT like I'm stuck in right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good night.